Item number SCP-3726 Index Anthropomorphic Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-3726 is to be kept in a secure containment locker at Site-26. Testing on SCP-3726 requires permission from personnel with clearance level 3 or above. Image SCP-3726 shortly after recovery. Description SCP-3726 is a 300-page leather-bound codex. Forensic tests have dated SCP-3726 to the 14th century. Despite being buried under sand for an extended period of time, see Addendum 3726-A, the Codex remains relatively intact. SCP-3726's anomalous properties manifest when any narrative with at least one anthropomorphic non-sapient being, designated SCP-3726-1, and at least one human, designated SCP-3726-2, is written on SCP-3726. Upon closing and reopening SCP-3726, the narrative is rewritten, but the handwriting remains the same. The rewritten narrative describes the discriminatory acts by SCP-3726-2 performed on SCP-3726-1, which invariably results in negative outcomes for SCP-3726-1 for a variety of reasons. SCP-3726 can affect the same narrative multiple times, which can prompt the narrative to be rewritten differently. However, the course of events will not be altered. No new characters are introduced in the rewritten narrative. Notes If the original narrative already described this topic, it would not be rewritten. If a crowd of an unidentified number of entities is introduced in the original narrative, the rewritten narrative may or may not introduce new characters, but they always have minor roles and will always be referred to as people or the anthropomorphic beings from the crowd. Individuals exposed to affected narratives show increased empathy to non-sapient beings. It is currently unknown if they possess mimetic properties. Addendum 3726-A Recovery SCP-3726 was found buried along with two mummified cadavers in the middle of the Karakum Desert while investigating on another anomalous phenomenon. The two cadavers, one human and one resembling a Macaca fascicularis, long-tailed macaque, were found holding SCP-3726 in a tugging position. Examinations of the clothing suggest the human to be a merchant. Several narratives in the form of diary entries had been written in SCP-3726 at the time of discovery. It is currently unknown if they were affected by SCP-3726 or not. The narratives are transcribed below. Grammar mistakes have not been corrected. Not write before. Monkey read book, learn write. Master book is good. Master beat monkey read book. Monkey read book, master sleep. Monkey happy can write. Monkey tell donkey. Master not good. Master always beat monkey and donkey. Monkey not understand. Monkey is mother make. Donkey is mother make. Master is mother make. Mother make thing nature. Why master beat monkey and donkey? Monkey give food master. Monkey give fast. Monkey not fast, Sata beat. Donkey not fast, master beat. Monkey is hurt. Donkey hurt too. Why beat monkey and donkey? Master sleep. Monkey scared. Monkey tell donkey run. Donkey hurt. Donkey not can run. Monkey not fast. Monkey is scared. Donkey scared too. Master sleep. Master have not food. Master kill donkey. Master eat donkey part. Master not give monkey. Monkey want eat. Master not give monkey. Monkey is scared. Monkey is scared. Master eat monkey too. Why master not good? Master sleep. Monkey want run. Monkey want book. Monkey run.
Monkey is scared. Master not sleep. A skeleton of an Equus Asinus, common donkey, was later found buried approximately 250 meters away from the two cadavers. <laughs>